on the eve of their biggest derby of the season, you'd think players from Western Sydney Wanderers and Sydney FC wouldn't see eye to eye. But Mark Bridge and Sky Blue skipper Terry McFlynn came together to support a Cancer Council campaign, though there was still a bit of friendly rivalry. It's mate v mate, but with a big tussle this weekend, there were cheeky barbs between these former Sydney FC roomies. Well, I actually don't know why they put us two together. We, we never mates at Sydney FC. Um, he, he said that we were roommates, but I can't remember talking to him on any away trips. He's kidding, of course, but both players can agree the third edition of the Sydney derby will be the biggest yet. There's so much at stake. Obviously, Western Sydney are going for the minor premiership. I'm sure they would, they would love to win it here at, at home in front of their home supporters. But we've got a lot to play for. Um, you know, we've, we have to play to get in the finals. We've been in good form recently and we'll be looking to continue that on Saturday night. It's level scores. Uh, whoever gets this has bragging rights until next season. Um, and also it's going to put one team in a very good position. A fairy tale season for the Wanderers will have even more romance if they clinch the Premier's plate on home turf and in front of their rivals. Remember, uh, those things are a little bit like karma. They do come back to you. So if it happens three or four years' time in reverse situation, watch out. So um, always win with honour and lose with dignity. Look, both teams want to win. Both teams don't need to win, but it's going to help their causes um, massively. So... It's going to be a special game, a very big, exciting game, and uh, with a big crowd behind both teams, it's going to be good. McFlynn missed last week's match with a hamstring strain, something that wasn't missed by his ex-teammate. Is that a small one? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, look, I'm progressing well this week, um, and everyone should be fit and healthy and available for, for Saturday night. If you're finding it tough to split the two sides, you're not alone. Right now, I'll have to say a draw. Uh, a lot of people will say sitting on the fence, yes, you're damn right. The Cancer Council campaign encourages mates to take each other on in a challenge with proceeds to help fight men's cancer. Oh, look, there was a standard thing at, at, at Sydney where Mike was very weak in his, his upper body. Uh, so I, I think it'll be something like maybe an arm wrestle or something at the end of the season, yeah. I'd have to go IQ test, I think. I think I have him in the brain, in the brain region. I mean, uh, <laughs> going off, <laughs> he's trying to hurt my IQ, see that? See that? Frank Yenko... Fox Sports News.